This morning, we are talking health with Dr. Scott Ackerman. We're breaking down the differences between the flu and COVID-19. Some of you have asked why the panic over COVID-19 when tens of thousands of people die every year from the flu, and that doesn't require anyone to social distance. Joining us now to explain is local oncologist Dr. Scott Ackerman. Doctor, thanks for joining us this morning. Do appreciate it. So morning, let's Jen. start first, if we can, uh, Doc, about looking specifically at the symptoms of flu and COVID-19. It is still flu season. We have to remind our viewers of that. And, and the symptoms are extremely similar. Correct. So both the COVID-19 and the flu, they both uh, the patients typically have a fever uh, and a cough. But the hallmarks of the COVID-19 are fever, cough, and shortness of breath. And the cough is usually a dry, non-productive cough. But with the flu, we see other symptoms more frequently. And those symptoms typically are things like sore throat and runny nose and those sort of things and body aches. They're more common with the flu and not so common with the COVID-19 virus. Also, we sometimes see diarrhea with the flu, and we don't see that quite as often uh, with the COVID-19 vi uh, virus. And would you explain also then how it spread the, the flu and COVID-19? Well, they both spread in a very similar way. They spread through air droplets that are in the air, and those air droplets either go straight to the other person or perhaps go on hard surfaces and then can be picked up. But the difference is that the droplets with the flu don't last that long. So they get out there and you may, they may be in the air, and they may be on surfaces, but they don't really, they're not that durable and they don't last that long. But with the problem with the, COVID, with the coronavirus is that that virus will last on, on uh, surfaces longer, will last in the air longer, and there's just a higher propensity for a uh, human to human transfer when, they're, when those, vi when those uh, droplets are around and alive longer. And Doc, among the other big differences also as we're seeing here on the screen is that uh, because I have heard this frequently, well the flu, so many people die of the flu every year and everybody's making a big deal you know, about COVID and not the flu. But the reality is, is that there is no vaccine for COVID-19, which then leads to a problem based on, on immunity in the population, right? So every year we, come, we have a vaccine that we bring out to the public for the flu because we see what flus are coming, we develop vaccines for that. But this is novel. We call this the novel coronavirus. And novel means it's new. And so we ha humans haven't been exposed to it before. So we're all susceptible to it. And there's no, uh, there's no vaccine for it. So there's no way to protect ourselves. So we all have this susceptibility. And this virus is very durable. It stays on surfaces and in the air longer. So that's what makes it such a big deal. And then the humans don't have immunity to it because we haven't built up to it right yet. So let me let me talk a little bit about the amount of people in terms of because we've talked about the fact that the fact that COVID-19 spreads just extremely aggressively, more so than the flu. Uh, these are some some um, bullet points that you sent to us, and, and I think it's incredibly important. So when we look at the how it spreads, so one person can infected with the flu infects 1.3 people. So after 10 times, it's only about 13 infections. And while that seems like a lot for flu, explain to us, if you will, Doc, the difference between that and infecting someone with COVID-19. So as one person infects another, and then they infect another and another and another, those numbers go up exponentially. And that's what epidemiology is all about. So those numbers go up exponentially. So if one person has the flu, he or she affects one or two other people. 1.3 is what the average is. After 10 iterations of that, that's 13 or 14 people that are infected. But when three people infect three, and those three infect three more, that's nine, it goes up and up and up over 10 iterations, that becomes 59,000 people. That's huge, it's a huge difference between the flu and the COVID virus. And there's gonna be a significantly higher proportion of those patients with the coronavirus that will have a serious condition that will need hospitalization. Generally, it's 20 times the number of people. So 20% of coronavirus patients will have it seriously enough to have to go to the hospital. We're only about 1% of the flu patients will need, to go, will need to go to the hospital. So think about the burden this puts on our healthcare systems. Uh, which is why social distancing is so important. Dr. Scott Ackerman joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Jen.